Hey, what's happening everyone on YouTube and all my new subscribers? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Alright, so this is part two of the substrate special. Um, as you can see, I've already got the organic soil in there from my prior video. Uh, it's about an, about an inch and a half, a little bit more than I wanted, but that's okay. I made it a little bit deeper in the rear. But, so, as I mentioned in my first substrate um, uh, video I made, I talked about how I'm doing layers and how uh, sechum, uh, you know, fluorite, they make a gravel. You know, or clay, it's a clay, okay? Um, anyway, nowhere on the package uh, did it have the guaranteed analysis. I've never, never seen a product ever that doesn't tell you what's in it. On the back, it just says porous clay. Now, it's red. Now, being that it's red, I knew that it had iron. So, I reached out to Seachem, and I'm going to read to you part of the conversation that we had, because I wanted to know what the heck is going into my water to make sure everything was safe. You know, so I called them a dozen times. I either got hung up on or went straight to a voicemail and said, leave a message. And I left a message. No one ever called me back. So then I started emailing. So I'll skip through all of the emails and just talk about the part that's important. So after my first couple of emails, hey there, this is Seachum. Hey there, thanks for reaching out. Unfortunately, the elemental breakdown of fluorite substrate red is uh, proprietary information as it can lead to our source location. Our, our substrate is perfectly safe for all your aquarium inhabitants, including your plants. It is a porous red clay. Awesome. That's exactly what it says on the back of your package. Were you like literally looking at it and reading the shit on the back of the bag to me as you're talking? Okay, so... Here's my response. Now, mind you, I'm getting annoyed because I want to know what the heck is, is in this clay. So I responded, here's me. I understand you don't want to reveal its source. I'm not interested in where, where you get your clay from. Every substrate on this planet provides a guaranteed analysis but yours. Just because I know fluval stratum uh, gets their substrate from volcanic ash... Doesn't mean I'm going to travel to the nearest volcano and start scooping up volcanic ash for free. I also know that the organic soil I use is made of manure. That doesn't mean I'm going to start following cows around scooping up their shit to use that. I didn't even say shit. Um, but, you know, you get my point. I, I said, if you can't give me a basic analysis of the, uh, uh, of the elemental breakdown from this company... I will assume you are hiding a potential artificial element that could be dangerous to something, and that's why you won't tell me. Just saying it's safe isn't good enough. After a couple more responses, I finally got a res uh, uh, the, the elements. So I'm going to tell them to you, and if for some reason you happen to know its location, have at it. That's how ticked off I am. I don't care if it's three states over. I'm going to start digging dirt. Anyway, so she sent me a, a, a literal picture of the periodic table and circled all the elements, but only mentioned one as being the primary, which is iron. The rest of the elements are as follows. Magnesium, manganese, nickel, zinc, cobalt, beranium. Cool. Thank you for telling me the elements. I have no idea... Just because you told me the elements, where on earth you got this? All of these elements are in a lot of stuff. Jesus. Anyway, so there's your answer. If anyone's been curious as to as to what the hell is in Seachum Fluorite Clay, there you go. So anyway, I'm going to now put it in my tank because this is layer number two because I described how this is going to absorb my organic nutrients.
guess I'll just put the rest in here. Anyway, so I'm going to give you a closer look so you can have an idea of how thick it is. So around here, about an inch, inch and a half um, of the organic uh, soil, and then a very thin layer. That 15 pound bag is it's not even an inch. It's not even an inch or a, or a half an inch. I'm just spreading it out thin enough where it's a very thin layer. Because the only reason I wanted their their clay was to retain the nutrients from my organic soil. The only reason. All right. Don't go out and buy five bags of fluorite and think that that's going to do the best. I mean, it is a popular company. It does work well over time, just not, you know, not right away. But anyway, so there we go. There you have it. There's part two. And now you got to see me angry. You're welcome. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you for part three.